be a good presentation, as well as all the rest we have. Please join me in welcoming to the huddle, Coach Bromack. Guys, how y'all doing today? Yeah. How y'all doing today? Yeah. All right, good, good. Well, it's a pleasure to talk to you. I love doing this. Actually, I took speech and communication as my minor at Clemson University. So I can do this all day. It's real easy because we speak from the heart. It's easy, right? It's true. You know, I want to talk to you guys about a few things today. First is setting goals for yourself. By a show of hands, how many of you guys want to make it to college and play at in college? All right, so everybody, that's pretty much everybody here. So basically, you have to set up, you already set that goal for yourself, right? Yeah. By setting goals, that makes you a, accountable, right? Yeah. Because it's in your LTM. Who, who knows what LTM means? All right, what, and FTM is what? Which you need to try to get rid of that as much as possible. When you start setting goals, and, lo and logging it in your long-term memory, every day you wake up, you become what? More what? Accountable. That's the word, accountable. Because I'm gonna wake up and say, wait a minute. I'm not only accountable on the football field and excel to the, my God-given ability, I'm also accountable where? In the school. Now I'm saying all this to say that, to say this. I grew up in New York City. I grew up in some very tough areas and I was, probably wasn't a good kid growing up. I wasn't a good kid growing up. But it was the way I was raised. Most of my family, jail guys are dead. If you get me from my grandfathers to my brothers to my uncles, you name it. So, I mean, I know a lot of guys come from tough areas. You ain't coming from no area tougher than where I'm coming from. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Okay, now, the key is I set a what? Goal. Goal. Even though I wasn't the best guy, I had, I had accountability because my mother, I, was, I remember one day vividly walking through the projects in New York City. And I must be, I was younger than most of you. I'm probably, probably about six years old, believe it or not, I was about this tall. I didn't get tall in my junior year in high school. I was walking through the projects with my mom and I said, you know what, God put it in my heart. I'm sorry, I believe in God, I love God, and that's who I serve. So God put it in my heart to tell me, when you get older, you gonna make it to the NFL to take care of your mother. That's called what? A count of what? Okay, now, I, I set a goal. I told my mother that one day, mama, six years old, when I get older, I'm gonna make it to the NFL. Not, not for me, but for her. Because my mother worked for NYPD, my mother worked uh, the second job, and then she also cleaned toilets on Saturday. Just so Lorenzo Bromel, the guy who you see right now, could wear the J's he wanted to wear. Or my older brother, Orlando Bromel, was a, 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 a game junkie, so we had every game system there is. But she held us accountable. She said, if you do the grades, I buy you whatever you want. Now, she made sacrifices to get us those things. You follow me? Why, how did she make sacrifices? By cleaning what? Toilets. Toilets. Do you think I'm embarrassed to say that? Absolutely not, because that's my mom doing everything she can to take care of her two sons without the help of a man. But I had, we both have the same father. My mother and father was married, got divorced. But my mother did everything she could. She was what? What's that word? Accountable for her seed. And, and God put it in my heart at a young age that I will make it to the NFL. That's non-negotiable. And when I get there, guess what I'm gonna do? Put your foot up, mama and sit back and go fishing. Guess what, my mom don't live in New York City no more, even though I love my city. She got a big old house in Virginia. She got a pond, she got dirt bikes, you name it. Anything she wants, she can get. Make one call to her baby. That's what she called me, as big as I am. But the point is, I set goals. I had to do my work. I had to work hard on the field. Football is a game, it's not for everybody. I'm gonna tell you that right now. A lot of you here, I pray that every one of you make it to college, I pray that every one of you make it to whatever professional level it is. But the truth of the matter is, everybody here is not going to make it. Because I'm going to tell you this, the people that do make it is the guys that you be seeing all the time doing, going above and beyond. Wow, coach, you hear the coach talking about them all the time. Great job, great effort, way to run to the ball, way to hustle. Dang, you came back quick from getting the water. You ain't socializing at the water tank. No, no, I'm running to get better. Coach, you know what, why they getting water? Can you show me that move again? That's called what? Accountability. 
So if you really want to play this game, you better play it serious. Because the higher you get from middle school to high school, from high school to college, from college to the NFL, God, God allow it, you better be accountable because guess what? You ain't playing with kids no more. I played very, very aggressive when I played football. I was an outside linebacker slash defensive end. I got all kind of records. In the NFL, I still own the Miami Dolphins sack record right now. Not telling you that to brag. And I didn't even start when I broke the record. So that tell you I was what? Accountable. Because what? I had set a goal to take care of who? My mother, my father, my sister, my brother. Because I knew the only way that I can make millions of dollars is by going to the NFL, by using the God-given talent that he gave me and not wasting it, not taking it, not taking full advantage of every day it's hot out here. I don't care if it's hot, I want to get better. I went to I went to Georgia military, then I went to Clemson. Let me tell you how hard I practiced. When they used to do inside drill, you know inside drill when y'all doing these drills here? Yeah. Guess where I was? Go, take a knee. Everybody else going full speed, I'm like this. Because when I got on the field, I changed to a different person. Because I was what? And I said what? Because I knew I was going somewhere. So if you don't take it to that level, trust me, you're wasting your time out here. And every one of you got all the talent in the world. You got to push yourself. Your mama can't push you. Your daddy can't push you. Your brother can't push you. In football, you got to push yourself. Point blank, period. Do that make sense? Yes, sir. OK, good. Now, I'll give you another story. The first day I went to the National Football League, I got drafted by the Miami Dolphins by Jimmy Johnson. I played what? Linebacker defensive end. We was running 110. The, our conditioning drill is 110 yards, end zone to the back of the end zone. 15 seconds. This time's pretty good. Big boys moving, too. The big D tackles making that time. I went on the big field with the D lineman. I wasn't on the skill field. Jim, I ran two of them. And I must have did it in about 11 or 12 seconds. You know what Jimmy did over there? Come here, Lowe. You don't ever run on this field again. You run with the fastest people on the team. And I'm a D what? Nobody else. Only two people that did that was Jason Taylor, y'all heard of him? Yeah. And Lorenzo Bromel. I was accountable. I took it serious. And I wanted to take care of my who? Oh. My mama. My daddy is really my family. I want you guys to work hard, set goals, perseverance is the key. But some days I came out, I didn't feel like running. Some days I came out, my mind said it's hot. Guess what I had to say to myself? Wait a minute now. If I psych myself out, I have no what? No chance, no accountability, but no chance to, to perform at the highest level I can. So when it's hot, you know what I should say? Man, it ain't that hot out here. Guess what I'm doing? I'm picking up my other guys. What's good? What's good, Tim Bowens? Timbo Low, I got you, Low. What's good, Jason Taylor, Zach Thomas, Sam Madison? These names sound familiar? Yeah. These are good players, and that's how we play. And another thing that does is make them what? Accountable to say, I'm not going to complain about it's hot out here. If you complain about it's hot, are you going to complain about it when it's cold? You will. If I complain about the heat when it's 6 inches, 12 inches of snow, what you going to say then? Man, it's cold out here. I'm ready to go back in, right? Stop making excuses. The elements have nothing to do with football. You control how you feel. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Be accountable. Yes, sir. Work hard. Do as best as you can in school because that's your platform. Your window could be long or it could be short. Guess what you're going to need at the end of the day? Education. My degree is on my wall. My wife's degree is on her wall. My wife's in law school now. You just can't stop learning. You need it. Trust me, you need it. So do everything you can. Work as hard as you can. Listen to your parents. And I'm going to say this, I read my Bible. I get into my word. Ask God, pray to God. If that's what you do, whatever you want to call him. And you do that, you stay humble and have respect. Respect. Because see, I, what I've learned is when you know God, you automatically have what? Right? You guys know God? If you know God, you automatically got what? Because it said respect your who? Your elders, not just parents. No, sir, ma'am. Yes, sir. No, sir. That's how I talk to my coaches. When I walked on a football field throughout my whole career, when I looked at my coach, I, I looked at him as an extended father. He's an authority figure. 
He cares about me. That's why he's on my tail. That's why he's yelling at me. Lorenzo, get your tail in there better. You know you can do it better. Maybe they can, but I know you can. Yes, sir, coach. That's my bad. I saw what I did. I fall step, but I'll get it right next time. I love your attitude, Lo. Go get him. And I want to close on that note. Keep a positive attitude. Keep God in your life. And don't take one day for granted out here. God bless you. We all love you. You got great coaches all around this field. A lot of guys over here in the league. A lot of guys in different leagues. Take advantage of what God placed in front of you. God bless, man. Respect. Give Coach one of those Rick Flair.